Alright, so I have to make this video really fast because I bought these flowers for my mom and dad's anniversary today and they're coming over for lunch and I really want these in the background of the video because they're so pretty. So let's get down to business. Hey fiddlers, welcome to this Fiddle Focus video. Today we are going to be talking about how to play harmonies. We're gonna talk about just some really simple, basic beginner approaches to playing a harmony on the fiddle. If you would like to vote for the topics that I cover in these videos, check out the link in the description below. You can also get sheet music, practice tracks, and a fiddle lesson for the tune that we're going to be using to talk about harmonies. It's an Irish jig called Scatter the Mud. You can get the tune, a variation, harmony, backup parts, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, let's demystify harmonies. So today I'm going to give you three tips on how to play harmonies on the fiddle. There's so much more to know about harmony playing, but we're just gonna start here. And first off, let's hear how this tune sounds with a harmony part. <laughs> So tip number one, and this might seem basic, but it's really important, know the key that you are in before you start writing your harmony. This just tells you what your finger placements are going to be for your harmony part. You'll know that any note that you're going to play has to be within that key. So this tune is actually an A Dorian. A Dorian is like A minor, except there's an F sharp. So here's an A Dorian scale. A, B, C, D, E. F sharp, G, A. So then you know you have a low second finger on the A string and a low second finger on the E string. Let's do the lower octave as well. So for example, if the melody is on an open A, you'll know that the note below has to be in the scale. It couldn't be a low second finger on the D it couldn't be a high third finger. It would have to be one of the notes in the scale. Okay, now that we know the key, we are going to get going on our harmony. This brings us to tip number two. And this is a rule that has some exceptions, but generally it's such a good bet. Play a third, or sometimes a fourth, below the melody. This is just a way to write a basic harmony. There are so many other ways that you could harmonize, but this one generally works pretty well. So how do we find the note that's a third below the melody? Well, for example, if we're playing an E in this tune, we're gonna walk it down a couple of notes to find the third below. So a third below E is your C natural right here. Your low second finger on the A. So if the melody's playing an E, you're gonna be playing that C natural below. That's generally a good bet. Might seem kind of weird because you're like a third. Shouldn't I have to go three notes lower? But no, you start counting on the note in the melody. One, two, three to find that third below. All right, so generally in the tune, that is gonna work really awesomely. So let's take a part of the tune and see how we would play a third below. Starting at the beginning, it goes like this. Let's figure out what would be a third below each of those notes. It starts on E, so we'd start on that C. Then it goes to the open A. So if we're playing a third below, we're gonna go to the F sharp below that. Then it goes to the B note, so first finger on the A. A third below that is your G. And then it goes back to the open A. Third below that is your F sharp. So here's our harmony so far. Sounds a little funny. Harmonies usually do sound a little funny. Let's try playing the A part of that tune, playing a third below the melody the entire time. Oh, 
Okay, so there were a few places where that sounded a little funky, and that's why we also sometimes need to go a fourth below the melody. There are two ways you could approach this. The first is just trial and error and figuring out where the fourth sounds better than the third. And to be honest, that's the way I approached it when I was learning. I wasn't super into music theory, and so basically I would just be like, hmm, does it sound better to have a third or a fourth below here? And I would just follow my heart. But there is another approach. There's actually a way to know for sure when that fourth is gonna sound better. And that is when the melody is on the first note, the one of the scale that you're in. So in Scatter the Mud, the one of that scale is your A, because it's an A Dorian. So when the tune gets to the open A, you're gonna be playing a fourth below that, generally. So let's walk it down to a fourth below. One, two, three, four. That's your first finger on the D or an E note. So let's take the beginning of the tune again and we're gonna figure out how we could do the harmony a third below except when we're on the open A. Remember those notes for the melody? So we're starting out a third below the E on that C note. Then we're going to the, the melody goes to the open A. So we're going a fourth below and playing that E note. Then it goes to the first finger on the A. Third below that is the G. And back to the A. So we're back to a fourth below on that E note. So here's our harmony this time. Now let's play the A part playing that note, that E, whenever the melody gets to an A. but let's take it one step further. And this is tip number three, play within the chord for the part of the tune you're on. So I mentioned that it's good to be a third or a fourth below the melody. If you know the chords for the tune, and you can get the chords for this tune in the link in the description below, then you can play a third or a fourth below the melody throughout the tune and decide which one to do based on what chord is being played at that point in the tune. So here's what I mean by that. There's a part where the melody goes like this. And if we were playing a third below, it would go like this. But the chord that's being played in the tune right then is a G major chord. And there's no E note in a G major chord. There is, however, a D note in a G major chord. So if we want to stay within the chord, instead of playing and going to that E note, we would go like this. And go to the open D. With that in mind, let's play one more time through the A part. We're gonna play a third or a fourth below the melody, but this time I'll be playing a harmony that always fits into the chord that's being played at that part of the tune. idea and this is just how to practice playing harmonies. Try recording yourself playing one of your favorite tunes super slowly and then just by trial and error try playing along playing the harmony a third or a fourth below the melody. Might be a little frustrating, might make a ton of mistakes, you definitely will make a ton of mistakes, I certainly do, but it's worth it. So it might sound a little something like this. So that 
that wraps up this month's Fiddle Focus video. Thank you for tuning in. Again, if you want to vote for my video topics, check out the link in the description. You'll also find sheet music, practice tracks, and a fiddle lesson for the tune that we talked about today, Scatter the Mud. You can learn the melody, harmony, variation, backup parts, and there's a chord chart there too. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Happy fiddling, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.